Hello friends, welcome to Nandkishore classes. Today we are going to learn how to multiply fractions. In our last video, we had learned addition of fractions. Now we are going to continue with multiplication of fractions. Let's suppose you get a question 2 over 3 multiply 4 over 7. If you need to multiply these two fractions, it is very easy. What we need to do, just multiply the numerators with each other. Like 2 and 4 will be multiplied. And it will this multiplication will form the numerator of final answer. And both denominators will be multiplied with each other. 3 multiply 7. And its answer will be 8 over 21. See, this is very easy, right? Numerators will be multiplied with each other and denominators will be multiplied with each other. Now, let's suppose I get the next question. 4 over 5 multiply 10 over 8. Now, see, according to the rule which we have studied, you can apply that. That is not a problem because when... 4 and 10 will be multiplied, it will become 40. When 8 and 5 are multiplied, you will get 40. Then you can cancel 40 with 40 and your final answer will be 1. But what I want to teach now, direct multiplication is not required always. If you can cancel few terms before multiplication, you can do that. To avoid big calculations, here you were getting 40 by 40 because I had taken a simple example. You may get different and difficult values here. Reducing them into lowest form might be difficult. For example, let's suppose same question I am going to do again. 4 over 5 into 10 over 8. What we can do, any number from the numerator can be cancelled with any number from the denominator. Means reducing into lowest form, same concept can be used. For example, this 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10. See, things become easy now. Here, 4 times 1 is 4 and 4 times 2 is 8. Do remember one number from the numerator and one from the denominator. At a time, you can take only one number from each place. So now, what are we left with? 1 and 2 in the numerator. So they are going to be multiplied. And in denominator, I am also having 1 into 2. See, this 2 and 2 can be cancelled now. Your final answer is going to be 1 over 1, which can further be written as 1. Why I am teaching this method? Because this is going to be widely used. Most of the times, we will have to use this method to make the calculations easier. Let us take few more examples. Even... This method is not only for the two fractions. If more than two fractions are there, like let's suppose we have 12 over 11 multiply 121 divided by 24 multiply 2 over 3. Let's suppose we have this question and you need to multiply these fractions. Now, if you start multiplying all the numerators with each other, all the denominators with each other, it will be difficult. Big calculation will be there. Right? So, we need to avoid it. How can I avoid it? See, very simple steps. 12 and 24. I can see this combination is there. I can do 12 times 1 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. Right? 11 times 1 is 11. 11 times 11 is 121. Calculations are becoming easier now. And if you check this 2 and this 2, you can rewrite it just for the reason everything is visible properly. Otherwise, I can do in the same step also. This is what I got now. This 2 and this 2 is also cancelled. Now multiply all the numerators. 1 multiply 11 multiply 1 is only 11. And in the denominator, we are having only 3. That is how we can solve it. I hope concept is clear. Let me take one more example. I'm sure you will get something new from this video. 
लेट सपोज आई हैव दिस फ्रैक्शन नाउ टू ओवर फाइव मल्टीप्लाई टू ओवर थ्री मल्टीप्लाई टेन ओवर ट्वेंटी फोर लेट सपोज दिस इज द क्वेश्चन why i have taken this example now and please listen this is very important step in my previous question i cancelled first two fractions with each other but it is not binding you can do cancellation with the first term and last term also still that is okay any number you can take from the numerator that can be cancelled with any number in the denominator for example here 5 is coming at this corner 5 time 1 is 5 5 time 2 is 10 right they can be cancelled with each other 2 time 1 is 2 and 2 times 12 see how far it is but i am cancelling them it can be done i am left with this is 1 over 1 now middle term is 2 over 3 and this one is 2 over 12 you can cancel this 2 time 1 is 2 2 times 6 is 12 1 by 6 see now this 2 is still there 6 is still there they can be cancelled 2 time 1 and 2 times 3 that is how things becomes easier now 1 multiply 1 multiply 1 we get 1 only and in the denominator 3 multiply 3 is 9 so my final answer is going to be 1 by 9 that is how the concept of multiplication of fractions work i hope you are clear with this concept if you like this video if you think that this video is helpful for others then please share it as well thank you so much